We are all certified freaks at least 14 days a week when it comes to Wookie. And now we have some B-sides. Today. Oh, oh, love the flow of this. Shoo oh. up. The emotion, the power. And then it just explodes. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back, my name is Shannon, and today we're going to be reacting to Wookiee's My Way and Drink It Up. And I'm excited for some Wookiee, B-Sides Freak was amazing, it had really, a really nice sense of kind of, kind of punk, rocky style with a lot of references to horror movies, albeit it's talking about how all of these horror villains, I, I want to say, are just freaks that can, well, when they embrace their freakness, fit in. Now we have some of the B-Sides, there are a lot of like special clips and live clips and everything for these different b-sides so today we're just checking out the two that did not have any like special thing i, I know they had like a fan case or a showcase thing i'm skipping those and reacting to all of those at once at some point but uh for now these were the only two ones that didn't have like an, like an official i guess thingy-majig so we'll be using their videos let's get right into the first one my way Really establishing a sound, you know, a style. Mm. Alright. Mm. It's very uplifting. I'm excited to see this chorus. Nice with the synths. Nice with just the upbringing message, the happiness. Damn. So good. I love that softness of her huskiness. Oh, it's so good. Like, the breakdown here is really nice. I love the chorus. And it's catchy as well. I just want to sing along. Hey! Ooh! Oh, imagine singing along to that part at a concert. Oh, it's over already. Goddamn. That went over too quick. That was Wookiee's My Way. A, a, a incredible song again. I really feel like Wookiee with this album is like expertly establishing what her brand is going to be like, what her sound, what her tone is going to be like. She's going to be tapping mostly into the like these kind of rock elements in her songs, both in Freak and in My Way. Not as much in Could It Be, Could It Be was a slower song, but still in these songs, she's tapping a little bit more into the rock element and she's going for that uplifting kind of music. Freak, not at all what I was expecting in terms of it being an uplifting song, actually talking about the good sides of being a freak and kind of trying to, to accept that you're a freak. This one going my way about kind of setting yourself free, setting your, well, spreading your wings and stuff, which is quite the, 
which spread your wings is the quite literal meaning. Oh, well, the other way around. Set, uh, setting yourself free is the quite literal meaning of spreading your wings. So I love that. I really, really love how Wiki's just going that route for, well, the, the uplifting stuff. And I'm excited to see if that is all the ca also the case for Drink It Up, which, to be fair, the title does not make it sound like it is. I've heard of PH1. I've, I don't think I've heard any of his music, but... Okay. Ooh, and that little groovy. Oh, very fun. On the background too. Going for the deep vocals. Loving this. Hey. All right. Ooh. The flow is really nice. Oh, he's got like a perfect rapping vocal tone. Ooh, this is a patient that's through. It's so good. In a little bit, huge one. Let's go. Oh, that's catchy. Alright, we all ride with Wookie and PH1 on this one. That was a dope song. I gotta say, it's a little bit ironic that this is the one that pops up right as I'm talking about Wookie really getting to begin to write all of these uplifting songs. Then we have this one, Drink It Up. That doesn't really feel in the same regardless way of being like really uplifting and spreading your wings and, and attaining that freedom. But regardless, it's it's nice. I really, really like it. I'm loving how, how there's such a good amount of kind of a grooviness in this song. We even have a tiny bit and a very, 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 it's a very tiny bit of a little like retro syncopation that we get right in the chorus that also sounds really good. PH1 popping in with a incredibly nice rap that just sounds good he's got a really nice flow to it and his voice fits the rap it just fits a rapper position so damn well and the way that wookie is conforming her husky voice throughout the song is really nice as well i really love how she's beginning to use it in other ways than just going for the deepness she's really going for 
some of those bright vocals nowadays, but she still knows where her roots are and she still goes back to it when she needs it. She's still able to go for those deeper vocals. And I just love that. But yeah, guys, that was Wii's My Way and Drink It Up featuring PH1. That was good. I really, really like the two songs that we're getting into here from Wookie. Two very different songs, albeit I was just mentioning after My Way how it felt like she was really going for attaining a specific sound. But then we have Drink It Up that actually has quite a different uh, kind of sound as to uh, My Way and um, Could It Be and Freak. But I still really love both of the songs and I'm excited to get some more from Wookie. I think we have like three more B-sides or something in this album to get into and she's dope. I don't even know how many of these songs she's written herself because I know for the most recent G-Idol album she wrote two of the songs Last Forever and Neverland I believe it was those two at least and I she's probably have written or she's going to have written some of these songs as well which you guys can let me know down in the comments if you know which ones of the songs she's written herself but let me know first of all what you guys thought about my way and drink it up down in the comments below and I guess I'll see you guys next time.